Good morning everyone, I am Pratish Goyal and today I will be explaining about MySQL. As my friend Arvind well, last explained about the basics of MySQL, what it is. In brief, I would just like to say that MySQL is a database management system, one of the most popular database management system, which is used for all non-commercial as well as commercial purposes. So today I will be explaining about its statements and the methods used there. First, I will be telling you about the data types used. First is the text data type. In that we have chart and bar chart. Chart is a fixed length data type from in which we can give the range from 1 to 255. Uh, the range is given in brackets after writing chart. And the bar chart is a variable length, variable length data type. Which also has a length from 1 to 255, and it is also given from uh, given between brackets after writing word chart. Uh, in the text, while inputting the text, the text should be between double quotes or single quotes. Uh, next is the numeric data types. Uh, numeric data types first you have integer. In the integer data type, we can enter as much as 11 numbers, but not more than that. It is used only for entering numbers, no decimal points, nothing. And uh, next we have decimal data type. And this we give the size here. And the number of number of numbers we want after decimal place. In this, the size can be variable, it can be anything, whatever we want. And the next is the date data type, uh, which gives the data in date format. In the date data type, the text is written as the year first, then the month, and then the date. It is given between single quotes. Uh, next was time. It is used to input the time. Uh, it is entered as hours, minutes, and seconds between single words. Next, we will be studying about DDL and DML. DDL is data manipulation language, and DDL is data definition language. A uh, data definition language is mainly used to define a table, a database, drop it, alter its structure, and mainly for the structured purposes. Uh, for in DDL, we have create database. Create table, alter table, drop table. In DML, We have select, update, insert into, so first I'll be telling about create database, a uh, create database is used to create a database. Database is something in which you have to create tables to store data. It is the main base of any any information that we want to store. So it's in taxes like create database and the database link. Like if I want to name it level. And a semicolon. Uh, next is create table. 
of creating a table really defines a table and defines its structure. The columns you want in it, their data types. It is really telling the, telling the software that we want to create a table with these all columns with names and what all type of data we want to store in it. So syntax is very create table the table name like students and the column name if I want to give the serial number the integer here and a comma and then name with bar chart I get 30 and then we close the bracket and semicolons. In this, we define the column names here with their respective data types. And anytime when we are not writing the last column name for the data type, we have to use this form. Next is alter table. Like we created a table with two columns. Now I want to add the third column. So I you I do it with using alter table. Alter table is like alter table. The table name. Like here I want to add, so I will write add. Add the column name that you want to add, like if you want to add age or then integer. And you close it. Now this will add another column to our table. Whichever table it is, we have to enter it here. Next we have the drop table. In drop table, it is used mainly to delete the table. Uh, we also have drop database, which is used to drop a database. That is delete a database. Like I have created the table students, but I don't need it anymore. So I will drop table and the name and semi. Similarly, drop database is also there. In this way, enter the database that you want to delete and send it out. Now I move on to the DNS statements. First, you have the select. It is used to, okay, first I go with insert into. Insert into is used to enter data into the table. Like insert into. And then the table name that was students values and the value enter like our table consists of three columns that was serial number so one then it was name I have my name and then it was the age and then close the brackets and send it in this, we also have an option to enter the value of any one of the column. For that, we will write the column name here. Like I just want to enter the serial number and name. The table name. Values and I just here two and the name. 